Hey there guys, Zach here from Inbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 Mobile build 14.267.1002. This is the first Redstone build for mobile that, have been, that has been released and includes a couple of new features over the current public release of Windows 10 which is build 10.586. So diving straight in, the first noteworthy change is with Cortana. Cortana now has a music icon straight on the homepage. So with Windows Phone 8.1, you could easily access this feature as the button was on the homepage, but they removed it in the Windows 10 release. It's now back in Redstone, and by tapping it, I can simply listen for music, and Cortana will tell me when music is being played. So moving right along, the next noteworthy change in this build is with Microsoft Edge, more specifically how the Wordflow keyboard works with Microsoft Edge. Those of you using the current Windows 10 release will know that Wordflow doesn't actually work with Edge. In Redstone it does, so I can now type or swipe, so hello there, and that works just like you would expect it to within Edge, which is very, very nice. Other changes in, in Edge include a access to in private browsing by simply tapping this button here. That button wasn't there previously. And of course, you can now close only in private tabs just by doing that and they go away. There are also download prompts in Edge now. So when downloading a file, let's download VLC. We will see here. That, let's just download anything really. Although this, this wouldn't run on a mobile. It's just the download prompt we're looking for. So let's download VLC here should get offered in five seconds, hopefully. A pop-up should appear just saying save download, which is very nice, which before that wouldn't be the case. Edge used to just download things straight away. There you go. Would you like to save this file? We would not, but there's that in a nutshell. Number of things have been fixed. We fixed an issue where shape writing would ignore every second word when typing into a text box on the website in Microsoft Edge uh, and another of other things as well. They've also improved live tile animations, so take a look there, uh, and have made reliability improvements to keyboards with large dictionaries and have uh, fixed up refreshing live tiles as well. Uh, one other change that they haven't actually mentioned in the change log, Skype appears to work with pi pictures. So, oh, that's not what I wanted. Let's close it off. If we go here, I can now send a photo or video camera, thing of above, thing of above, all that good stuff, just like on the latest Windows 10 Redstone desktop build. But apart from that, that's simply it. No transparency in the notifications have said to yet, nothing really else there. This is still a first good build, at least there are some new features to play with. This build is rolling out right now to the inside of Fast Ring. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.